At the moment, we're milking a, a herd of 220 crossbred cows. At the end of the quarter period, we probably had 150. We, if we plan to expand a bit more, depending on land availability. Overall, stocking rate will be a cow to the acre, but maybe the making, plat making platform will be a bit, bit more than that. At the moment, we're fully spring calving. We have a compact calving in February. From a nutrition point of view, currently we are very tight on grass. At the moment, there's four kilos of, of dairy nuts going in ration, and there's a uh, two kilos of silage dry matter going in, probably maybe somewhere around 12 of grass. They're doing maybe 22 litres, maybe 1.8 kilos milk solids, and uh, we aim to try and keep them going at that. Our breeding season is coming to an end. There's very little activity at the minute, but there's mopper up bulls in, in with the herd, and uh, they'll hopefully come out in the next two weeks. Bre breeding started, say, on the 4th of May, and we AI'd probably for seven weeks. We don't know whether they're in calf or not yet, but submission rate was 92% in the first three weeks, first 24 days, so we're happy enough with that. We, we need rain badly. Um, this corner of Ireland, I suppose, or definitely Wexford, we, we are always suffering and looking for rain in the summer. It's a sort of an ongoing battle, and we have to factor that into the way we feed the cow in the summer. So there's, there's lots of times when there is silage going in. From an animal health point of view, I suppose the cows would have been epinext in June. At dry enough, they're, they're getting ivermectin and they would get a fluke dose to cover every fluke at that stage. So they're well covered in for the winter. Originally, when the epinext came out first, we would have just done the first calvers. It became more economical, so we do the whole herd now. With the bulk milk sampling that we do with Lambia, uh, it gives us an indication of where we are. So we, we, we sort of like to keep it there. We just keep working at it. Yeah, and the other thing from a health point of view is the herd is vaccinated for BBD, Lepto, and we're starting Salmonella now this year. I'm finding with the majority of um, my customers that are they're dosing with an epimectin in May, June. If you look at it, you're expecting your cow to go back in calf. You're, she's at peak milk, and you give her the best chance that uh, she could possibly have to, uh, to do those two things. The majority of me are, are using an epimectin poron to help her get that target. <laughs>